Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm gonna light my hair on fire. Why do my parents trust me with candles? I wouldn't. Like, I don't trust myself with much. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys how to stay happy during the school year slash how to just have a good school year. Do not forget to subscribe down below. I post videos, try to post videos, every Tuesday and Friday. And I think I'll be able to get to the schedule a little bit more once fall rolls around and school starts, so I'll be on more of a schedule. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let's get started. Okay, so tip number one, numero uno. I'm in such a good mood right now, I don't know. I suggest staying organized. Organization is super important, guys. Honestly, it's probably like the most important thing on this list. When your folders are in order, when your locker is cleaned, when your room is clean, when your life is just organized, it's going to make you so much happier. It's gonna make you wanna be productive. It's gonna make you want to just do more things it's gonna give you so much less stress I know we've all gotten ready in the morning with a messy room and it honestly I can't handle it it stresses me out and then I'm stepping on clothes and then I'm just like mad at everything so it's like oh I hate messy things but yeah definitely stay organized because organization is key tip numero dos do not forget to make time for you you time me time is perfect like it's just like you need that in your life it just makes you feel so much happier and then you turn into like one of those little like gurus who's always like meditating and you're like tip numero tres don't let other people's bad energy or vibes i hate that word it sounds so basic but whatever don't let someone's negativity ruin your day that sounds better it's really important that you just focus on what you're feeling rather than what another person's feeling now i'm not saying that you shouldn't you know relate to them and understand what they're feeling or that you should just brush it away either because that's not cool. But you really should just focus on what you're feeling. If they're worked up about something, try to get them less stressed out and try to make them happier. Numero quattro. Do things for you. You are so important to like take care of. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not like important enough to take care of. You are super important and it's really important that you like get taken care of. And the only person who can really understand what you need and what you want in that moment is you. So if that means going to get your hair done or getting your nails done or just little things like that, it's really important that you do that for yourself because honestly, how else are you going to, you know, just be like content and happy. If you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I feel like crap, you should just really turn that around and be like, well, you know, I don't like the way my eyebrows look right now. I'm going to go get them done. And then it just boosts your mood so, so much. All right, and my last tip is to stick with your schedule slash like use a planner. Planners are like my thing. I suggest using like a different planner than the one you use for school. I have like three planners at the moment and it's absolutely crazy, but it's really worth getting like as many as you need, if that makes sense. Especially if you do something like a sport or if you're very social and hang out with your friends a lot or if you do YouTube like me, it's really important that you write this stuff down and track it and be like, okay, I'm going to do this on this day. I'm going to do that on that day. And then the last thing I want to leave you with, it's not necessarily a tip, but it's some things that you might need to hear. You are honestly perfect. Like whatever you do, even if there's flaws, you're perfect because no one's perfect. So it kind of like, it's like a grading curve. So if you have flaws, like you're still perfect. I know sometimes happiness and confidence and sticking to having a good school year can be really hard because you don't feel good about yourself. And I just want to let you know right here, right now, you are a bad bitch. So work it. I don't care if someone thinks you're not. I don't care if someone doesn't like you or any of that. Like it doesn't have anything to do with you. Keep that in mind. Someone's criticism or hate against you has absolutely nothing to do with you. It has to do with them. So don't think that changes anything about yourself. Keep working it. Keep just killing the game and just do you this year. Really kill it and just bring your A game and bring it for you, no one else. If you're about to start your school year or discover this video mid-school year, just know that whatever you've done so far does not matter. You can flip the page and be like, you know what? I wasn't having a great school year, I was always dreading school, but now I'm gonna flip the page and be like, you know what, this is a different part of my life that I will never experience again, so I really wanna be there in the moment and just enjoy it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned earlier, do not forget to subscribe down below and leave some video requests because I love when you guys leave video requests because I love to make what you guys want to see. Also, all my social media is down below. I'm thinking about doing a how I edit my Instagram pictures soon, so let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I love you guys so much. 